Hi, I'm Paul Greenberg of the Nora Network uh, with another solution partner, Showreel. Today, it's my pleasure to be chatting with Susan Martin, who's the founder and CEO of Smart in Planning. Welcome, Susan. Hi, Paul. Thank you. The Showreels are a chance for us to showcase some of our fabulous solution partner members who support the Nora Network and, of course, provide very valuable services into the retail ecosystem here in Australia and beyond. So, Susan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thanks, Paul. Um, well, I suppose from South Africa originally, which mm, snap, hey, snap, 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 um, there are a few of us. <laughs> but I've been in Australia now since 2001. Yeah. And, and my career path um, and leading now up until um, starting Smart and Planning nearly four years ago has been in retail and specifically in merchandise planning. So planning is, um, is definitely you know, who I am and what I'm about. And um, I was fortunate, I suppose, to start that career in South Africa where I got a good sample of um, what good looks like, not necessarily best practice if there's such a thing, but what good looks like in planning and seeing it working really well producing great results and then coming to Australia in 2001 um, it seemed to be in a more immature space and in all the time that I've worked here I've seen I suppose a gap between what I've experienced previously and and where planning operates still uh, so smart and planning is I guess planning as a solution I know you get services as a solution uh, software as a software yeah. as a service sorry software as a SaaS. this is this is, this is planning SaaS. as a service yeah um, and, nice. and just take, <laughs> yes, yeah. I don't know how you frame yeah, okay. it, but, um, yeah. but yeah, so taking effectively that, that 20 years of experience and, yeah. and now I've, I've sort of put it into, um, into a service that's accessible yeah. to, I suppose, help retailers and planners. I see a lot yeah. of planners, I see a lot of churn and a lot of people yeah. not managing to bring all their skills to the table, partly because either planning isn't well understood or not fully supported or established in a business. Yeah. Um, so helping retailers and planners yeah. um, get more out of that space because I, I, I know what it can produce. And I'm certainly speaking to retailers out there, it's, a, it's still a pain point. Well, it's, I think it's been a forever situation where there's a shortage of skilled planners that merchandise planning for a lot of retailers, you know, is, is never easy. You did say that uh, you don't see yourself as a consultant. I mean, tell you a lot no. of IP and experience in the yes. planning space. Um, so if you're not in consulting, um, how would you describe? <laughs> yeah, well, how would yeah. you describe the business in, um, this, in a simple way? I, I suppose why I don't say I'm a consultant is because I, I I don't suppose I have that whole toolkit. I don't have that experience path. I'm a practitioner. Yeah, I've been in planning for 20 years. It's my yeah. expertise or my, my specialist area. Yeah. And um, you know, in the time that I've been in this space operating smart and planning, I've developed uh, a team who work alongside me, and they're all also experts in their field. Yeah. So I suppose we see ourselves as professionals in that space as yeah. opposed to consultants in a broader sense. Yeah. And, um, and, and we bring our collective experience to the table. So everything that we, we do is really tailored or customized to the particular business that we're working Excellent. with, trying to understand where they're at, what are, what's next in their journey, uh, what are they grappling with. Sometimes we, we help them formulate what they're trying to solve for because they don't necessarily know. Sometimes they're in that space of don't know what we don't know. Yeah. Um, we feel like planning might be the thing that gives us the edge or moves us forward and then we help them figure out how we can do that. Yeah. Um, it can span anything from literally a blank page, a company that has a smaller business perhaps that has no planning in place, mm. where we might implement a planning framework for them, help yeah. them get started, um, they get to borrow the expertise I suppose. Yeah, of course. Um, and, yeah. and, and so I sort of, I can't resist a play on words, so smart in planning is a play on my name. Yes, of course. Um, and <laughs> Susan Martin. Uh, Martin yes, and um, and I've I've kind of loosely grouped our services under similar things. So um, you know I've got a smart start, which is exactly that. It's yeah. with that blank page, making a start in that planning space. How would people do that? Um, what expertise do they need? What tools? Most likely Excel-based tools for a smaller business. Of course. Do they need? Um, yeah. uh, then I've got a. a a service that operates more in the space of transform mm. so that might be looking at a business that's already operating mm. with some type of planning or approximation to planning yeah, yeah. and and yeah. helping them move that to the next stage yeah. um, it might be helping them with um, system evaluation and selection helping them implement that system yeah. business process in the planning realm of course. Um, you know uh, looking at the skills of their team the structure of their team some of those sorts mm. of things mm. um, transform You'll notice the S M A R T and all love, of them. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah. No. Um, Transform is really um, in the um, 
in that business process space, mm -hmm. master into the tra into the training space, so yeah. helping people upskill, move to the next level with coaching, development, bespoke training programs, um, yeah. budget workshops and things like that. Yeah. Um, outsmart, which is our outsource yeah. uh, <laughs> component. So Lovely. some businesses literally just um, have us look after all of their planning you needs for them. You're the, the de facto. Uh, they don't worry about setting team. up their own planning structure. Smart. And sometimes, Smart. sometimes yeah. when people are in that space, um, that's when the churn can also um, continue in terms of attract an, a good planning person but also lose them because there might not be anybody else in the organisation who can grow that person, Indeed. continue to develop their skills and, um, and, and they, they start to lose sight of what their career path is. They, they're a useful person in the business but they're not necessarily feeling like they're getting anything back and so yeah. small, business, small businesses can sometimes struggle to retain a good planning person. I've seen that, yes, of course. And With so, such a, a talent pool that's so thin, yeah. very difficult to retain good yeah. people. And so, um, so we solve that problem by giving yeah. them enough for them to be moving forward. Yeah. They get to bring on board more senior expertise than they perhaps otherwise could bring in yeah. and, and get the additional benefit of that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, Smart Art is, um, is that space that I love about planning where you really lift it beyond the numbers mm -hmm. and it's that extra experience mm -hmm. that takes it into that advisory space, into that strategic space. Yes. And, so, you know, and, and all of it obviously is about delivering the KPIs, the sales and the margin and the yep. stock. Yep. Um, it's taken me a long time to wrap planning up into one one little phrase, I guess. I remember yeah. my father asking me in my early part of my career constantly, yeah. what exactly is planning? And I used to go, oh, it's, <laughs> it's a science about estimation and it's this and it's yeah. that. But I guess to me, the objective of planning is to maximize sales and profit mm. through optimizing stock. Yes. And, and there certainly are some very um, exciting technological advancements in that space and that'll yeah. only go faster and faster. That'll only amplify and um, increase, yeah. But there's also, I still think, a place for a good degree of, of um, high touch amongst the high tech. Yeah. And, um, and I love taking people on that journey, lifting the numbers off the page and bringing home those, those KPIs. And, and those are achieved yeah. through all of those different areas that I've, I've touched on before. Yeah. We want to make sure that those results are delivered every time. So we work with small businesses from 10 to 20 million dollar turnover all the way up to multi-million and multi-billion. And we're approaching four years um, <laughs> in operating. Great. And um, in that time, we will have worked with um, over 40 companies and brands wow. uh, with a combined turnover now around the $4 billion mark. Fantastic. And, um, and so I like that there's symmetry in that too. Mm. Four years. <laughs> 40 businesses. 4 billion. 4 billion. Got, got to love that. And I didn't plan that. <laughs> but I analysed it and I saw it. <laughs> That's right. There's a little bit of hardship there with a lot of men. But uh, Susan, and then obviously, I mean, you said small businesses, 10 million. What about sub 10 million? Would you play? I mean, small fish yeah. become big fish, would you? Oh, uh, yeah. Look, yeah. I've, I've not. I've not come across a scenario yet where um, where we haven't actually found a way to work together and help each other. Um, there was there was one small business that that I did some work with early on, um, and and they they landed up falling into the pro bono space if there's such a thing outside of legal, um, and it was just really um, I guess I just it just turned out that way. I I, I felt bad in the end. <laughs> Um, a bit of a love job. Uh. Yeah, and I just, but you know, I'd love to do more of that. Um, and um, and I suppose the more I get the other stuff right, the more mm. it opens up the opportunity to, um, you know, to do little bits and pieces here that just help. And I do try mm. to do that. And I, I'm not in recruitment, but I do try to match people together where I can. And yeah. um, you know, we do we do some bridging, which is a, quite a popular option. Um, you know, business demands continue whether you've got a planner in the seat or not. So if you you need to figure out your ATB, set your budget, and so on, of course, got to get it done. So we sometimes help businesses just bridge those little gaps because mm. the nature of what we do means that we work across lots of different businesses. For sure. And so my team's very, very adaptable and they can hit the ground running and make a difference straight away. So we do that while they don't do recruitment. I kind of thinking, Susan Martin, that you're a little bit of the Nora network in the merchandise planning space. And my sense of it is something like that is very much needed. Someone who flies the flag for this wonderful craft and science of merchandise planning, which is really the, the underpinning of retail in the past, in the present, in the future. 
So, um, I mean, a very short sound bite, fireside chat and conversation with a friend and colleague, Susan Martin, the founder and CEO of Smart and Planning, uh, certainly a, a very valued solution partner to the Nora Network and doing some very interesting things in retail. Last question for you, Susan. Will we see you at the uh, upcoming Solution Partner Excellence Awards? Are you nominating your business? You will see us there. Um, we, we, we are going to um, be putting ourselves into the, into the mix and um, yeah, looking forward to it and meeting um, a lot of the other solution providers that are, that are part of the network. And um, it just means that there's that much more resource even available amongst the solution providers themselves to be able to enhance their service offering through saying, have a look over here, here's somebody who might be a, a partner for you in that space. So I think they'll be quite good. Of course, we love connecting the dots. Well, this is Paul Greenberg from the Nora Network uh, with good friend Susan Martin uh, of Smart in Planning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Paul.